And it wasn't the hard part wasn't going to prison, it was getting out and trying to be part of society again. Um, because at one time I was a contractor, I had four employees, three bedroom house, blah, 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 blah. And I, I had to lose it all to realize it was just stuff, but still, then when you're done with your time and I discharged my sentence in February 11th of 2011, I got my parole papers signed off. I became a citizen again. I can actually vote. I can actually go in and vote for the president, but I can't get a job here or here or here. I can't have any apartments because they won't accept felons. And uh, I even went through an agency that took felons and they'll give a pedophile an apartment before they will me because I had a drug charge. I wasn't even dealing drugs, I had possession. But anybody that has possession of drugs, they're worried about them selling drugs in their apartments so they won't give them one. But this place them an apartment but they wouldn't let me have one because of my felony. Because I had a drug felony. And it's just the hard part was just becoming part of society again. It's like they didn't want me. Um, they didn't want me to be part of their society anymore. I'm gonna sleep in a tent. I'm gonna do what I love for a living, which is playing music. And if I just make a little bit of money, I'd rather do what I love with a passion and make a little money than go back to contracting and try to make a lot of money and be part of a society that doesn't even want me no more. That's the way I feel. Feel, feel that? What a... I, I meet a lot of good people, but I believe there's a lot of good people out there, but for the most part, most people, all they care about is themselves. You could be standing there on the corner bleeding and people just drive by you. Yeah, they wouldn't want no part of it. They wouldn't want no part of the drama. But then there'd be one in 10 that might stop and help. You know? I walked up to a woman once to ask her what time it was. I was pushing a cart. Me and my wife were pushing our cart. We had all our stuff in a grocery cart. I was pushing. I needed to know what time it was. So I went up to ask this woman what time it was. She's like, oh, get away from me. I don't have any money. Leave me alone. I'm like, I don't want to. She's like, just get away from me. Go. I'm like, and I'm thinking, what could have this woman been through that she's so terrified of a stranger that she, what if my wife was pregnant, her water just broke and I needed help? I mean, who knows? What if I was having chest pain and I needed her to call 911? She didn't care, was just get away from me, go. I don't got no money. She thought all I wanted was her money. I just want to know what time it was. And it hurt, man, it's like. It does hurt. Yeah. What, so many people, what have they been through that makes them so terrified of relationships and people that they just don't want nothing to do with nobody. It's sad. It's really I wasn't sad. scared of you when I saw you. Well, it's your one in a million, you know? I mean, you're actually sitting down and talking to me, you know? But it's all right. You know, when it, when it comes down to it, I came in this world by myself, and when I die, I'm gonna be the only one in that coffin. And uh, so really all I guess that matters is me, I guess, I don't know. I think people matter, but the more I'm starting to see, less and less. You matter, bro. I feel that way about you too, man. You matter. I mean, you care. You it's matter. sad to see that most people don't. It's just sad because there's so much beautiful things in life. There's so many beautiful things in life. Relationships are beautiful. Nobody wants relationships. Check this out. I've got over 240 some friends on Facebook. Most of them I knew from high school. I mean, I knew a lot of people. I, I got around, all right? Um, 240 some people I know on Facebook. Most of them I thought were good friends from high school. Christmas day, I Facebooked them all and I'm like, hey, it's Christmas. I haven't talked to some of y'all in over 20 years. Here's my number, call me. Let's have a conversation. Nobody. And I posted that thing over and over Christmas day, nobody. And I'm talking people that asked me to be their friend. Oh, so-and-so wants you to be their friend. Well, I know this person from high school. Sure, I'll be their friend. What does that they, they mean? Be, what does that mean? It means people don't want relationships no more. They're so into their internet and so into their Facebook. They got their fate. This is their idol. Internet's become an idol, man. It's like people don't want relationships. They want the kind of relationships where they can be who they want to be and be who they are. You know, instead of being who they are, be who they want to be and pretend to be. Oh yeah, I'm six foot four and I got dark hair and blue eyes and big shoulders. But then I, I can't ever meet this person because I don't look like that. You know, and most people on these internet relationships, man. I even, a girl, my high school sweetheart. I, got, I hooked up with her on Facebook, contacted her, hey man, let's meet. Well, she gave me her number, she's like, well look, just text me. I really don't have time for conversations no more. She'd rather go text back and forth for two hours, texting back and forth, instead of having a 10 minute conversation that could have summed it all up. People don't want conversations, they want, they don't want nothing no more. I don't know what they want. The way that people see it, really. Totally agree. You know, so.
I mean, but I'm just trying to make the world a more better place, man, a more beautiful place. And if music and art can do it and somebody appreciates it, that's all that matters. If I can make a difference in one person's life, that's all that matters. Uh, you made I'm, a difference in my life. Praise God. I mean, hallelujah. You did. I would be sitting here with you if he, if he hadn't. Yeah. Because you were playing your guitar when I walked up. Yeah. Well, hopefully it's a positive difference, you know. We can all make a negative influence in somebody's life, but if we can be a positive difference in somebody's life and make them just stink for a minute, maybe there is something worth caring about.